great video if you're learning and wanting to learn how to be a good partner. And also it's a great video to watch with your partner so you can learn together. Before we do though, I want you to know that this video is specifically for people that are in healthy relationships, people that have a good foundation already. And if you don't, pause right here, work on the things that you need to work on and then come back to this video because it's impossible to build when there are things that are broken in your relationship. With that said, let's start with number one. Make sure that you validate what your partner says. It's very important to do this because when two people are having a disagreement, right? They come to the table, one person tells the other, listen, I'm having a hard time with you doing one, two, and three. I don't appreciate the fact that you speak to me this way or I don't appreciate the fact that we don't spend enough time together the worst thing you can do in this situation is, is to say oh, I don't know what you're talking about that's ridiculous that's rubbish like what do you mean you're making this a big deal and it's not a big deal what it's doing is being counterproductive to the fact that you are trying to work together to build something right a good way to build emotionally in this step is to make sure that you validate this person and say okay I hear what you're saying. Thank you for letting me know. How can we move forward into making this something that's better? Our next one will be express appreciation. Don't you just love it when your partner says to you, thank you, I really appreciate that you did that for me. Thank you that you are actually looking after me really well. It sounds nice and it feels nice. And if you're very honest, it motivates you to keep doing what you're doing because that's what appreciation does, right? When somebody appreciates you, it shows you your value. It shows that somebody appreciates your value in their life. So make sure that you appreciate and show appreciation to your partner very, very often. One thing my husband and I do is probably say thank you a bit too much. We try to exercise speaking kindly to one another. So even if he's just washing the dishes and it's something that he is supposed to be doing, I still say thank you. One thing I also say is thank you when he has driven a long way when we're supposed to be going somewhere because it is stressful, him being on the road, having to deal with all the people that are driving really badly. It's really nice that I get to just relax, mainly because I don't drive in Korea, but also I appreciate the fact that he has no problem in doing it. So I show him my appreciation by saying, I thank you for driving us three hours to where we're supposed to be going. Which brings me to our third one, which is laugh at your partner's jokes. I think the longer you're together, the less funny maybe somebody becomes. But it is so important to actually laugh at your partner's jokes because they are making an effort into making you happy. They are trying to actually make the stress less for you. Probably they might understand that you're going through something. But if you are now like, oh, I'm so sick of your jokes. I'm so tired. This is not funny. Like, just try something else. That is demeaning. <laughs> well, sis, Make sure that you learn to make the jokes funny. Laugh even if you think they are not. It's just laughing. It's just laughing. This is not me advocating for you to accept things that are incorrect. I'm just saying that it is great to laugh at a joke that sometimes you don't even think is funny. It could be really good and open a conversation to other things that maybe you have always wanted to speak about. Next one, which is compliment your partner. This is so good, right? <laughs> because like you want to hear like, oh girl, you look good. You, your hair looks very nice on you. That You want to hear that kind of stuff. I think it's important to express to your partner, oh, I love it when you hug me. You are such a strong person. I really appreciate when you wash the dishes after I've cooked. Those kinds of things, even if it's like really minor, just showing your appreciation and complimenting your partner is so good because it is showing them that you are seeing the things that they are doing and it's important to feel seen in a relationship it does build more emotional intimacy because that person emotionally feels like they are being fed learn how to receive compliments I spoke to my husband about this the other day actually saying to him some people feel uncomfortable receiving compliments for example a woman can probably hear a compliment from her husband and say hey like wow you look good in that dress and the wife can respond and be like oh you're just you're lying like, I've gained so much weight and I literally can't stand being in this dress 
you could respond with thank you i really appreciate that but this is i just feel like maybe i could start working out so i can feel more comfortable in this dress there's a good way to respond to certain things and there's a bad way to respond to it. So learning how to receive compliments is very important for your emotional intimacy in your relationship. Next one would be encouraging your partner. You always want to be told that you're doing a great job. Well, personally, I do because it's my love language. I think everybody wants to hear that. As a teacher, I can see how it builds confidence in my students when I'm telling them, oh, you're doing really good. This was great. You've improved so much. Telling your partner the exact same things when you see that they were struggling with something and having a really hard time with it, but now you see that they've overcome it. It's great to tell them like, babe, you are doing so well like you have improved so much you're able to handle things so much more than you were before the next one is loving your partner in their love language i think we kind of have it twisted when it comes to love languages we just want to know what our love language is right and this is how i want to be loved but in reality it's not how the other person wants to be loved you need to find out what the other person's love language is in order for you to love them how they want to be loved not how you want to be loved so keep that in mind i think i want to make a video actually about like love languages the positive sides of it and the negative sides of it so let me know in the comments down below if that's something that you would like to see last one here is challenge your partner kindly keyword kindly it is great to bring things to the table with your partner and say okay i understand that you want to have all these things achieved by the end of the year but is it okay if i challenge you and i say maybe the timeline might not work out is it okay if you push it back or we push things back to uh, next year give us more time to do things words are so important so building up and encouraging your partner in the right way is really really good um, i hope these have been helpful and really good let me know if you would like videos that are like this i am really enjoying teaching and speaking about how to build a more firm relationship with your partner and also for people that are having a hard time with it so next video i would like to make is about boundaries what do you think is that a great idea let me know in the comments down below welcome to all the new subscribers thank you so much for being here i love you guys and i really appreciate your support make sure you like comment subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next video bye